what's going on. Just cruising in a white Beetle. Convertible. Uh, this thing's fun, dude. First time this thing's actually got out this, uh, I guess you'd call it summer, but it's spring still. Uh, overcast and uh, was raining like a sunbitch yesterday. You seen that? I was um, cruises on, set it at 70. And we just, this thing just picks up and goes. Wheel on the show on the Chat TV YouTube channel. and make a run and get me some uh, C635 tranny fluid or um, I don't know DDCT dual dry clutch transmission fluid for the dart because yesterday when I was out in the woods in that um, storm mushroom hunting I was taking a dart and this thing has the service transmission lights popped on a couple times on this car after the light went off after the turbo hole pulled you know, low turbo shit kicked on and whatnot. The light will come on and go off the engine light. But that happened to me twice. Yesterday I was running down the road. The thing completely like popped itself out of gear and wouldn't go back into gear. So I flip on the flashers. I coast off the road. I sit there, turn the car off. I turn it back on five minutes later. I start it up. I, I drive it away. I drive it away because I'm like making a phone call to a place because I was going to just leave the car there, have a tow company come and get it. And then have it sit over at the dealership until it could get looked at. Then I was like, eh, it worked. So I drove it to where I was going to shroom hunt. Went shroom hunt and got back in the car two hours later, drove it home, no problem. So this morning I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go check out some things. I'm gonna look some stuff up because that's kind of guy I am to see if maybe the fluid's just low or something like that or see what other problems people have had with it because those things are notorious for uh, recalls, this and that. and. I seen the uh, the fluid might be low, and that's why it's doing that. So I figured I'll, I'll get some fluid, and that's like a 75 weight uh, gear oil is what it takes. And there's a reservoir on the top you can put it in, but I don't want to mix it with something else. So I got I'm going to a Dodge dealership, a LKQ dealership over here, Dodge dealership outside of Defiance to pick up some of that fluid because they have some. But um. Yeah, because I called over to Archibald and was talking them to the place that it actually came from the Terry Hendricks Archibald uh, Dodge dealership, and they were like, "Yeah, well, my tech, my uh, transmission guy's out sick until probably next week. Uh, I can I can do you Monday at 9 a.m., but it's going to be 129 dollars for a um, diagnosis fee." And I'm thinking to myself, "Look at the cab overs, man! I wear that Todd Defiance truck sale." Anyways, he's like 129 diagnosed me. I'm thinking to myself, dude, I'm diagnosing a problem right now. It's probably just needs to, the, the fluid is either low and needs changed out and or flush because it's over 200,000 miles. And it's probably low because I've done run that thing through the mountains and put it to work. I put that work, that thing to the test, you know, running down to the mountains to Florida and back, running down to Arkansas, running over to Georgia, back from Georgia and stuff like that. It's probably just low and that's what's going on. And it's probably a safety feature for that to kick on and kick out like that because, um, you know, that's what smart cars do and that's a smart car and it's weight. And give me a, give me a car that um, doesn't have a computer that, uh, you know what I mean? Like the semis or the big wagon. I, I can't get the big wagon out right now. I'd be driving it because um, it is currently blocked in the garage by the blue truck, which is broke down because I'm waiting on a uh, parallel switch to get shipped 
from Detroit, which hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. I'm gonna call him up when I get home and say, hey, put a rush on this dude, or I'm gonna have to come and get it because I don't have an extra two days to sit around. I don't wanna sit around for an extra two days. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. I want that truck up so I can run it because Green Trucks Down just got some bad news in an email saying that push back from being two weeks out, that radiator that I ordered from four states trucks, they're on a back order and it's not gonna probably ship until 5.30. So that's the end of the freaking month. So I got a whole month of that truck being down. So hopefully I'll get some uh, call back from the place I want to do an overhaul in frame or swap out engines and uh, they'll let me know when I can get it over there. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, fuck it, pull, the tra pull it out and I'll take it somewhere and have it redone or, or rebuild or diagnose or see what's going on with it. Pull the whole thing out and give it to me and I'll take it over to Archibald Radiator and uh, or a radiator place around here and see if they can just uh, fix it up or do something with it because I, I really don't think I can wait that long. I mean, for crying out loud, if I got to buy a spare truck to pull one out of, I, I might have to look start looking into options because I, I'm not trying to have that truck be sitting down for that long if you know what I mean because I need that thing up and moving so I can work it because I got a lot of money sitting in it and it's just sitting there burning a hole it's not burning a hole in my pocket just sitting there but it's kind of um one of those things that they uh pain in the butt because I can't run the truck and I like to work I, I called uh, Donnie yesterday and talked to him and I felt I feel horrible that I can't run because they scheduled me two days in a row and I've had to call off two days well I didn't call off the one day because I wanted to you know because I needed a break I'd run six days in a row in both those trucks and having all those issues with the green truck and still running it and then you know I run the blue truck I'm like piss on it. I'm gonna run the blue truck and I'm just gonna run the blue truck and that's what's gonna happen but I can't run the blue truck right now because I burn up that parallel switch trying to bump the starter to you know get that clutch to where I could adjust it well, I got it adjusted now. I can't run the thing down the road to see if the adjustment's right because that parallel switch is out. And uh, my order was update to being processed, so hopefully it'll be processed. And are you kidding me? If this exit ramp's closed, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to have to exit closed ahead. I'm going to have to drive all the fucking way out and around to be able to get back to this place. Well, it's not that far. It's just like a mile down the road, but at least I know that. I can't get off here, but I can get back on, so that's cool. But... It's what it is, man. Just cruising in a wife's beetle. Um, good times. April, May. Which we're in May. Let me get my dates right. May 5th, I believe. We got some construction going on down there, man. Yep. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what they're doing over there. Doing something. They're doing it. So I guess I'll get back with you when I uh, get some fluid in this car. We'll get back in the dark. We'll run down the road because... I, I like to put miles on that car right now, especially with the price of fuel. And I guess I'm not missing out on that high price diesel at all. So it's what it is, I guess. It's just one of those things. When it rains, it pours and everything's stacking up. The wife's gone. She's like, you're going to be okay without me? I said, yeah, I'll be fine, dude. I got plenty of stuff to do. There's, there's so many activities I can do. I mean, I've got so many activities I can do. It's not even funny, but it's what it is. So cheers get in on that right there lpk defiance man they're nice oh that dude was super friendly went in there and um talked to him a little bit got the stuff he says this is oh get out of here get out of here says this is the stuff that it pulled up on a computer because he did a little bit of stuff so c-series 75 weight that's what it pulls up on the old um you know on the old uh interwebs when you look it up and stuff like that for cross reference and whatnot they said you can use any 75 weight synthetic but i figured i will get the stuff that it calls for from the um you know because i don't want to mix it and whatnot so it's what it is we got some pretty decent looking vehicles over here if you're a jeep guy or whatever dodge i don't know maybe i'll bring the car over here they seem super friendly and stuff and it'll still be in a um Dodge dealership system if I ever have any work done on it because I'm just gonna keep a log book and write shit down because that's the kind of guy I am uh, when it comes to fixing things myself and doing all self mechanical stuff. Usually I honestly don't write stuff down 
I just, uh, I'm like, well, when I start to feel it and, you know, if an engine light comes on in this, I'll know it's time to change the oil or something. Or if, you know, we feel a little hesitation and it's not right and right, that's kind of the guy I am. But I might start changing the oil a little bit more often just to do it uh, for precautionary. So, that's what it is. But, um, yeah, go to that place if you're in defiance and you need something. Super friendly people. I hope you out. So after uh, doing a little bit of research here, I'm looking down in here because this transmission fluid takes, that is the reservoir right there. And I just threw the light down there and it is below the minimum mark. There is no full mark on this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in until there's a little bit of a mark up at the top, kind of towards the top, the reservoir on the out, inside that might be a mark, but it's below the minimum. So that's probably what's going on with this uh, car and why it's acting like that. But it's it's weird because you obviously seen me drive the Beetle and it was 10 times easier to drive that thing and then what it was to back it up. And, um, you know, oddly enough, every time I've started this car this morning, the engine light has not been on and I've had no issues. And when I was talking to the dude um, where I picked that up at the LKQ, he says it just sounds like the transmission fluid's low from what I'm talking about. And this transmission does not take atf it takes this stuff specifically and that's it if you look in the book which i read the owner's manual because i am a geek like that i like to uh read the owner's manual and stuff like that for things it specifically says it takes this stuff and do not put that stuff in in the other uh engines because this has so many different options for engines this freaking car um it takes uh like regular ATF and stuff, but it's it's really strange, this stuff here. Um, so I'm going to dump some fluid in, and uh, we'll see what happens, because I got that little thing right there, and I, I got the light down there that way I know, because I don't necessarily need um, a ton of stuff, you know what I mean? Going in there and shit, so let me get you right there like that. Hopefully you can, your visuals are okay, and you can see me, because I don't know, because of the way the camera is, but I'm going to be up in your grill just like this you know what i mean so when i'm reading in the owner's manual and stuff or a different forums because i'm a, like i said i'm a geek like that and i like to um do research on things before i just start doing shit uh it says that this is the equivalent of a this is a 75 weight so you can use a 7580 on it and that's what i used to have in there because i used the 7580 i use this to add fluid to the diffs this guy right here but i changed the uh that big guy and of course this has a fucking seal there got him just stick him in there like that got him now i don't want to uh stuff seems like it's thinner whoa thinner than that other shit though whoops just made a big old mess man oh my god look at this shit this stuff's 10 times thinner than any gear oil let me tell you that much right now well you know what this always needed um somewhat of a pressure wash bath which I've never done to it since I've owned it. Uh, so maybe it'll get maybe it'll get one now. I mean, it, it leaks oil and stuff because it's got 200 and close to 15,000 miles on. So there's there's leaks and shit, you know what I mean? So that's not even hitting the minimum. I might have to put this whole thing in. But that's a lot thinner than what I thought it would be. And I barely squeezed that bottle and it spooged out. You've seen that. I mean, you've seen it too. So it's what it is. Let's check it now. Let's check it. Because that reservoir is not really huge. And, uh, okay, now it looks like it's about up to that line I was talking about down there. And I'd get you down there, but I can't. Um, there ain't no way I'm going to get you down there. Yeah, it smells a lot thinner than what that other stuff would be. So I'm going to. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. Okay, now it's about full, so that's good. It's well above the mark that it was at, below the minimum. So I guess we'll we'll cap this off. We'll put this cap back on, and um, we're going to run it down the road because I, I need to get some fuel, and we're going to test this thing. I, I told the guy, you know, I just told him I'm going to put some stuff in it, and I'm going to go beat the hell out of it because that's what you're supposed to do, right? 
And uh, he says he thinks this is probably just low and that's why it's doing that. It's a smart car and you know, it's got those precautions and stuff like that. So it's what it is. I mean, I'll take I'll take the thing to the car wash. I'll get the old, I'll get the old engine. I'll get the old wash, man. Yeah, it does. It could use a um good good engine wash too, though. But it's freaking grimy. This thing is grimy for as many mileage as on. Did I say that the guy wanted to charge me one hundred twenty nine dollars for? Because I, I set an appointment over to where we got it from. And uh, the dude was like, well, it's going to be a $129 diagnosis fee. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? I'm diagnosing the shit right now. I'm not paying you $129 to go through and diagnose it. If I wanted to do that, I'm telling you what the problem is probably. And I'm going to fix it myself because I can. I don't get that on there with my finger type, man. The damn gorilla. Ugh, ugh. You know what I mean? Because that's all it is. And it's... This isn't like it's a pressurized system. Okay, now I got it with my right hand a little bit more. And what I could with the left, get this in here with the right hand and clean that shit up, man. What a mess. Nothing but a freaking slop. Get my flashlight out of it. Just all up in your way. You know, cleaned her up real nice. And it says right on there, do not add anything else but this. That's why I researched it and I looked in the book and I found out and then I called the place that was closest and I took the wife's beetle out and I ran it over there instead of taking this because I didn't want this to break down on me again like it did the other day and you know it's just uh, one of the things and I'll we'll just clean it up with this dirty towel some diesel fuel out and spray on it like you pretty would do and clean up the paint job you know what I mean that's what I'm talking about so I guess we'll see what happens now we'll see what happens now Two one five key ignition. Two one five something is what the two one five three nine eight. Oh, uh, I needed the oil change at two one four two Hana, and it's uh, I I checked the oil and stuff and put some in there. Let's get this thing. Key ignition park. All right. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna run this down the road. All the lights are off. There's no lights on. Period. Whatsoever. Except it says the doors open and shit. But, um, here, let's get you around real quick. Get you out of here and not touch too much. You can see like you care, but, um, yeah, nothing. Nothing's on. Uh, that's what's on right now. Ooh, zombie. I'm going to have to cut you out so we can... Damn, man. But, uh, just troubleshooting stuff. You know what I mean? We're going to drive through the art. Joe Dean's around here somewhere. I heard him on his, uh, gator. Got himself a John Deere Gator. I mean, he's got one of them fancy ones with the automatic dump bed and shit. I think it's got a heater and stuff in there, but um, yeah, this thing, I need to, I'm gonna go get some gas. So I'm gonna run it down the road and get some gas. And we'll test on it and see if, um, that's what did it. Cause I, I wanna be able to drive this car, you know what I mean? We wanna be able to drive this car, so. I mean, worst case scenario, wife's not home. Worst case scenario, the thing breaks down. I don't really know. Cause I'm, you know, I'm just a freaking truck driver. I'm not a mechanic. Okay, there he goes. Taking off mine down that way. My, might be able to see mine down though. Drive her seat belt on buckle. Give me a second, will ya? Get some uh, gasoline in it. The way these things are with sensors and stuff, who knows? You know, that's why I'm like, kiss on it. The guy's like, oh, $129. That just, that, that just floors me. I'd love to be able to call that dude back and be like, yeah, it's cool, man. Thanks, but no thanks. Worst case scenario, all I got to do is... Uh, change the oil myself this thing is super low though i i need to find out if there's anybody around here that i know that i can borrow lift or just use i mean it's not a big deal to take it over there it's just waste my time to go somewhere that's 30 minutes away to get the oil changed you know what i'm saying like i said i'll keep a logbook and write everything down oh god it's muddy up through here somebody's making a damn mess 
but uh, I should be out mushroom hunting. That's what I should be doing. But I want to take care of this car instead. It's it's what's important to me right now. Um, Cause some things are important. Cause like, yeah, if I want to go roller skating, go see my daughter in Fort Wayne, I won't be able to run this car up there. I don't want to be running grandma's truck. And um, premium gasoline is like, I think it was 429 on the pump yesterday. I went and filled up grandma's truck so the wife could take it to go see the kids and stuff. But it's just too much. Hopefully you're not too horribly. I know this thing does have a decent gimbal, but it's the camera's pointed at me from the phone. So it's what it is. It's not like it's the other way around. And if it's the other way around, that stuff works super good. But I'm not really beating on it yet. I want to just kind of ease it in there and let it warm up before I start really like, um, I'll get on it here in a little bit. 55 so it's in a 45 it's what it is so i guess i'll um I'll cut you out so i'm not wasting your time and then i'll uh get back with you once i get it home i mean i'm gonna run it around and see what happens so i'll put um let me get off this because it shows me the speedometer now let me go to the um mileage 215 400 i'll probably put 25 30 miles on it if i can real quick and see what happens uh, i mean unless something goes wrong and it says bah, 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 bah. we'll see i guess every time i put the cruise on and stuff if something happens to it so i guess we'll get some gasoline and we'll we'll test on it we'll be back well we um filled her up i've been i got four miles on to fill up since i talked to you last I got a call from Donnie. He says he needs some paperwork, so I got to rush back home and get it. But I just ran this car. I mean, like, I'm getting on it after I left the, the gas station. I went to O'Reilly's, picked up a couple Wix filters because that was the only filter they had for this car was Wix. They had two. I bought them both off the shelf because I figured I'm probably going to need them. And then I got, um, this takes 5W40 synthetic. And since it's a Dodge or an NR Fiat or a foreign car, this motor... Um, takes that weird pink coolant too. But on that, that goes through the list of all the foreign cars and stuff that it, um, that motor oils for is full synthetic. And I said, dude, I can't see anything else on the shelf that's even, that even has, there's only Castrol Edge plus something like that was the only thing else that had 5W40. So I grabbed, I figured I might as well just change the oil myself. But other than that, man, I don't, had no problems getting on it and stuff. It seems fine to me. You know, I probably should go through and change and check those other spark plugs. You know, just because. But I don't... I need to do the full tune-up on this thing and give it the old once-over interior clean, too. Because it still has a tendency to smell like cigarette smoke if you've been in it for too long. Come on. Just fucking turn already, lady. Jesus Christ. me, what are you doing? Give me that look while you're doing it. I'm busy doing stuff. The four grand kick over. I mean, other than that, the thing's performing fine. So that's probably what it was. Um, yeah, it's what it is. So I'm going to call that guy and let him know. Hey, guess what? Go ahead and cancel my appointment, bud, because I just filled her up with some lube and she good. And I don't need to come over and do a whole change because I'll just uh, write it down in my book serviced it actually what i'll do is i keep receipts and i write them on the back receipts for oil changes that way i can go through and i'll always because since we keep all the receipts and shit like that we know that you know what i mean it's what it is and I'm, now i can go mushroom hunting if i want to make it may make a trip over and check out a truck i seen on on facebook somebody had shared it. it's an old old truck that looks pretty cool i mean i would i've always wanted one I've always wanted a cab over one, but if I, I if I can't I, and I have to settle, but everybody's like, oh, wouldn't drive a motor. I'll stay away from my truck. That's a bad motor, man. That's a bad motor, man. I'll stay away from my truck, man. So we'll see. I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still test this car. Text the old lady and tell her, go ahead and stay at the kids as long as you want to. But daddy's out having some fun. <laughs> well, we got, uh, we got the oil draining out. I made a big old mess. Like usual, I mean, what's 
What's new when I change oil about making messes? Um, it's probably actually all drained out. But I'll, I'll let it down probably. I'm getting ready to pull the filter, which is, you know, I'll tell you something that's nice about this was a um, 9 sixteenths pulled that oil bolt off. And that's an inch right there down in here is where the um, oil filter's at, which I'll pull that in a second. Uh, I'm going to go grab a rag real quick and shove down there. Watch. So I got a rag here. I'm going to stuff down in here real quick just to kind of keep whatever. I, it, I know I'm going to make a mess. I really don't care. I'm going to take this and I'm going to end up pressure washing it at a uh, facility at one of those places. Well, honestly, I could do shit right here in my driveway if I wanted to. I need to get some degreaser though because... Never mind. I got some. I'll just do the shit here. And then I'll take it up to... Um, the car wash run it through there and then they got those automatic vacuums out there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be smart i'm going to use their vacuum system and i'm going to detail this car right there i'm going to um spray some shit added some coolant i'm gonna spray some shit on the seats and whatnot you know try to do it like that real quick while i'm there and just use their whoo, heavy duty vacuum but um let me go get my gloves on real quick because i'm a scatterbrain and um always think about shit but uh, let's get the other filter out too real quick while we're at it. Hopefully we got everything right here for us and we can just swap them around real fast. So the wife, she says, why, why don't you change the plugs while you're at it? Because I told her what my plans were about this. Changing this um oil and stuff like that. She's like, why don't you just change the... All right, that's like loose enough. I could probably do it by hand now. Get all fair. Why don't you change the rest of those plugs too since I changed the one plug and I didn't change the other plug. So I gotta take this guy off and I'll change plugs like I did in that one video. And I'm, I don't know, man. I just hope I don't bore people with the things that I do. You know what I mean? On the channel. Yeah, we dripped a little bit. Not really that bad though. In that filter, I don't know if this is a screw on or what. Yep, yeah, kind of screws down on there. You know, whatnot. So I'm going to go dump this on top of the oil drain pin real quick. And then there's a rubber seal that I'm going to have to pull off. See that down there? There's a little bit in here. I'm going to dump that out too. I'm going to pull that seal real quick. And then I can uh, proceed to um, swap that over real fast. It's smart to have these, these little guys right here. Pick these up at uh, Little Harbor Freight and keep them around. That way I got... And I'll just pop this out real quick and not have to worry about no bullshit. Which you could probably just use a, um, you know, flathead or small screwdriver or something. I, I like those for hard to reach places and stuff like that. We just stay up for crying out freaking loud. So let's get our seal first and put that on. Just like that fuel filter when I do that for, um, you know, the uh, semi and stuff. Let me wrap that bad boy around here. Go on there, get on there, get in your hole, get in your spot where you need to be, and uh, you're on. I dislike these cartridge filters, though. This one isn't bad. The placing of this isn't bad. I had a Ford Fusion. It was the biggest pain in the freaking butt to um, do. Okay. Okay, that just like clips on, and that's it, and it spins freely. Yeah, okay, there's just one spot that um, pops open, I guess. Okay, that's it. Wicks. All right. So let's uh, stick this back down here like this. And this is one of them cars that you don't have to worry about filling the filter up. You know, because it's how it is. So and this car, oddly enough, doesn't even take four quarts it takes 3.8 quarts of uh 5w40 oil so that's what we're gonna do here in a minute after i get this bad boy tightened up on here because i can't uh i can't crank her anymore with my hand my hand like i said we're gonna degrease this thing we'll throw some degreaser on it and get a quick pressure wash i don't want to get it too wet but at the same time I'd rather just do it at one of them car washes that way, but wait, if there is anything and that's tight enough, I don't want to over crank it, you know, 
Let's do it there real quick. Cause they don't, they don't have quite the pressure that I do with my pressure washer. And I really don't want to put 3,100 PSI on that. One of the mother ones, not as much. And you know, they got the stuff and it drain right off right there. So it ain't no big deal, but that's probably what's going to get done next after I do all this. Cause I'm going to want to run this car. Just not, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say beat the hell out of it, but I'm going to test it. So I guess now I can just put that plug in there, drop her down and add the oil. And then I can get on them, uh, I can get on them, uh, swapping out them spark plugs. So that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, I'm about to, um, add the oil here to the car. I just did everything out that filter swapped out, but, um, this segment is going to be brought to you again today by Defiance Truck Sales and Service. Um, you don't really check them out, man, if you're around town. You know, we're drinking a hard Mountain Dewski today. I picked these up when I was down in Arkansas from my buddy Ronnie, Reg, uh, whatever you want to call him, Reginald. And um, I told him I was going to take one out of each because I got a 12-pack of them. And there's four different kinds. So I drank the Black Cherry yesterday, but I'm drinking a hard Dewski right now, man, because I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. Should really not drink soda because I usually don't, but I uh, have been on soda kick lately. But we're going to change the oil. We're going to add the oil here. And then I'm going to add the spark plugs here to um, not bad. Tastes like a flat diet. Sugar-free Mountain Dew is basically what that tastes like. That's what it tastes like. Diet, sugar-free Mountain Dew alcohol one not like the original one but uh i gotta take these out these coil injectors unplug them take them out spark plug this is the one i did when i was down in florida so i got boom 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 i had to unhook this guy and i had to unhook this guy that goes right there get him out the way so i can get to this guy okay so we're gonna do that but we're gonna put our uh sca 5w440 synthetic in and uh 3.8 and then we're going to change those out. Once I get into that, maybe I'll show you one of the plugs. I, I might do one on screen. I don't know. But uh, this, is, this is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to add some oil here. And it was, you know, it was a debate whether I wanted the mobile or um, Castrol or this. And I just said, give me this. One quart. And I shouldn't. I should be able to just do this without making a mess here. If you know what I mean. Yeah, look at that. This is looks cleaner. It's probably still thin. That other stuff was super thin. And I I guess this stuff is just thin. One. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Chuck it over the side. And then this is going to need some real weird ticky tacky maintenance done to it. There's a um, aluminum plate that's on that cover right here that's kind of popped down. They got weird rivets and stuff around them. So I'm going to fab jack some shit up to where I can um, get that how I like it. And then there is um, underneath the car, there's an aluminum skid plate that has like that weird foam that um, goes on it too and there's a spot where there's there's like pop rivets in this aluminum that that foam holds on to and there's a couple spots that are blowed out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a um i'm going to drill a new hole and then i'm going to take a washer behind a pop rivet and i'm going to pop rivet that thing in there that way it's not hanging down because i don't want to be that guy that's driving down the highway that's got that buh, 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 weird stuff popping around under his car you know even though i am that weird guy but uh, a buddy Reg come over to get that Mountain Dew and stuff yesterday. And he says to me, I'm telling him how I've taken this all over down to Florida and whatnot, to Georgia. And he's like, dude, if I seen you coming up in the hammer lane, I would think you were a cop, an undercover in this car. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I guess that's how I can get away with going a few miles over the speed limit in it then. Yeah, not even making a mess. And I honestly should... When I pressure wash this thing, I honestly should do it with this off. But, uh, because this has got a bunch of grime and shit. You can see where it's leak. Got some leaks and stuff, seals. You know how that goes. Just old stuff. 
Now, uh, we'll see, I got that old spark plug later thing over in the other one and 3.8 so 4 12 28 I don't I don't know how to read this not 4 but 3.8 so I'm, I guess I'm just gonna keep a quarter of a um, a quarter of one out and then I will uh, pull dipstick and check it and then we'll see what happens I mean if we get too much in there we could always drain some out if we need to but there's going to be none sitting in that filter, so it might say that it's over, even though it's not. But uh, I guess we'll see. That's probably good. Let's check it. Yeah, we still got about half. I'd rather have uh, not enough than too much, if you know what I mean. I'm that kind of guy. Still a little bit half. We'll go a little bit more, and then we're, we're cutting her down. Okay, yeah, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. And I'll just throw this in the back because I, I had bought one of these from there and I had it in the back and I just filled it up to top it off and stuff. And um, that's what I was carrying around. So I had it full, but I knew it needed change because it was gross and dirty. So let's get you back over here real quick and just put your cap back on at least. Tighten her down some. And, uh, see what we got here. No oil change, man. I'll clean this off all the way. I hate these ones. It's got that stupid little thing. There ain't no full line. It's those little grooves. And you know what? This stuff is so clean. I don't know if I'll be able to see it. Okay, looks like we're about three quarters. I know you're not going to be able to see that. But uh, I'll get you in there a little bit. But there. See how clean that is? See where the sheen is? Yeah. Anyways, it's right there. You see the difference right there. Boom, so that's where it's at. So I will um I'll just leave it there. I'll run it and I'll check it later. After I get done, so that's good on that. Filled up top the old cooling off. Uh I should probably check the old brakes. Looks like it's up to the max, or if that's power steering. Warning fill cap, premium fluid, clean. I can't even tell what that says. I don't know. Just some numbers, but it's uh, it's almost to the max. That's probably that's brakes, though. Let's see where your power steering is at. My power steering fluid. Can't tell. Huh. It must be dripping on there from when I made that mess earlier. That's what I'm thinking because I got some of that fluid down there. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll have to uh, dig around and look for that one. But um, while we're doing it, since we got that taken care of, I guess we'll just get into one of these real quick. These stupid things. These clips just freaking pop off. And um, okay. These things were all broken and jacked up. Like they, because they had all been changed and stuff. Who knows when the last times was these plugs were changed and shit but i guess if they stay down that's all that matters yeah every single one of these things are like broke out and shit so i don't i don't know but i mean they plug down back in so that's all i guess that's what matters so let's see let's get us a 10 here i'm gonna say are you dead freaking dead or is that just too much for you need to do it by hand there's some leakage going on there no oh, get out you pop it out just like that just pop it out just like that and that's what it is and then uh let's see where's that bag that bag Everything in this AutoZone bag from when I was down in Florida because I'd never gotten back into it. So I got uh, one, two, get these spark plugs out here. I don't know if that's an old one or not. It might be. Nope, it's uh, it's out, so I know which one the old one is, so never mind. Three new ones. Um, here's this. Here's this. I can't remember what I did. 
plug socket. 5.8 spark plug socket. Isn't that something? There's a fucking 5.8 spark, spark plug socket right in this thing. Isn't that just something? Isn't that just something, folks? You know, I see lubricant. I guess we could scooge a little bit on there. I don't think I did the other ones because, well, I don't really care. Let's see if I can fit it down in there. You know, I don't remember what the fuck I even used and how I got these out of there because they're so, they're so far down in there. Plus, I just barely ripped it free. You know, we got, um, we got some stuff over here. We got backup plan here, what we can use. Take this guy off and we'll just stick this guy right here like this on him. We got plenty of room now. And we'll just wrench him off of here. Just like that. Uh, loosen him up. Just do it one at a time. Okay, I think he's good. Nope, he's still down in there. The bitch, come out of here. It's gotta be good. Got him. Oh, it don't look too bad, but we're gonna replace him anyways. Who knows the last time these things were replaced. I, that one actually doesn't look bad at all. Like, it's not, never had any issues, so. It's just a little dirty, but. Um, we get you in on the difference there. I'm sorry you can't focus in on this, and it's just what it is, the camera's rolling. But uh, there you go. We're going to stick the new ones in just because Japan, Japan. They're the exact same one, so it's not like I'm throwing something different in there. I'm putting the exact same shit back in there that needs to go in there. So. I don't think they need them. Um, I don't ever put any of that anti-seize on there, even though maybe I should. I don't know. Do you? I don't because it's going in here. It's not like there's any water going to get in here and these things will probably get replaced before, you know. You need to hand tighten. That wrench. Okay, that is, uh, that's tight, so. Get out of there. Boom. One step. Take this guy and you shove him back down in there on him. Just like that. That's all you do. You plop him back down on there. He plops back down on there. You take your bolt. You stick him back in there. You know, hand tighten him in there. just like that and then you take your plug and uh you plug them back in there you uh, know there you go it's swapping out a coal injector on a um spark plug later so that's that i'm gonna do this one i'm gonna do this one and then i'm gonna button this thing back up and um we'll test her we'll take her down the road and we'll run her you know, and then we'll probably go clean it somewhere else because I don't want to do it here. Even though I do need to get the pressure washer out and blast off the um, drive because I made a mess here from the oil spillage when I was changing it. But it's what it is. Simple maintenance. You can do it home by yourself. You don't have to take your car to a shop to do. That way uh, you don't have to worry about paying expensive bills. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a guy who likes to wrench and do stuff. So from me to you, that's what's going on in uh I'll bring you back when I run the car, I guess. Maybe I'll even change. I don't know. Probably not because I could care less, but uh, it's what it is. So we've hit up LKQ, um, Mopar and Defiance. We've hit up the O'Reilly's. We've hit up uh, s &G Gas Station for gas. And we've hit up, uh, where else did we go? O'Reilly's for the parts. So that's places we've been today and what we've done. Cheers to ya.
So you see that hanging down right in there, that region? That's what I'm talking about. Um, let me climb under here so I can get under here so I can do what I need to do under here. This is what I'm talking about, okay? I don't know if I can even get my hat off because I don't need that shit on. I barely got this thing jacked up, but um, i get you under here real quick so I can see what you can see. And uh, here's an aluminum plate right here where my finger's at. I don't know where that freaking thing is right there. See an aluminum plate right there? Well, this stuff just kind of sticks to it, and it's broke at that one spot. Well, if I take you back farther, there's pop rivets right back here where my hand's at that are broke free. So what? And there's one right there, too, that's supposed to be right there. So what I'm going to do, because obviously somebody hit something. They must have been off-roading, and they tore it up. Actually, there's fur. Looks like they caught a critter or some shit. So it's what it is. Um, it could have been me. I don't know. I never really got under this car and checked it out when um, I had bought it because, uh, let's get you over here, because it was the winter time, so I really couldn't. So I've got a drill that is, uh, get up under here, man, because I got my shit over here and too far. I got a drill that's the size of this popper, so I'm going to pop a few holes in this real quick. That way, though, simultaneously, and I got that thing, I'm just going to go bam, bam, bam. Pop rivet that shit in there because I got a couple small washers that I should be able to, um, you know, use and stuff. And it's got oil on it because I made a mess when I was doing this. Now I'll push this down. Get in there. Okay, there I got right through the aluminum. So that one's good. I got this shit right here. And I'll get you right there. Okay. okay, there's two. So that one should be good. Let's see if we can get that old thing now, buggle. Oh, oh, right there, my. Get on my shit. So I've got washers on the end of this. And I've got this pop rivet hand one right here. This is fun. Good times, huh? Under a car, my under a damn not only a car but a low freaking car. No, that's not the hole. That is the hole. Let me see. Aluminum. I find that hole through the aluminum too. No, that just pulls right through there. So that is not the hole that I just. Oh, right there it is. There's a the hole I just drilled. Get in there. Yeah, figure it out. I might have to climb up under there more, which I don't really want to do, but I'm going to have to do it so I can figure it out. And it's covered in oil. I may have to move it. I don't want to have to move it. There's a lot of things I don't want to have to do here. Get on there. Okay, we on. Now, let's see if we can get up under here. Figure out where our holes are. We don't have any freaking room here, folks. Oh, yeah, of course it's a... The bent fucking spot. I can't get it in here. Get my hand up in here. Figure it out. This is just not fun at all. Or easy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to pull this back out and figure it out. Stick it in there by itself. I oh, lost well, that horse already. Nope, maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll grab some zip ties or something and zip tie the stuff, because it seems like it's too much of a too much of a thing to do. I mean, I tried, right? I guess let's say I tried. I'm gonna crack this bitch up some more, and then uh, when I get done doing whatever I'm doing down here, maybe I'll bring you back and show you. I don't know. Maybe this won't even make the cut, man. Make the cut. I'm under here. I'm stuck. I can't get out. I'm stuck. Well, we back. Uh, didn't end up using the pop rivets, but look at that. It's all it's all held up there, right? So let's get you back here best we can, and uh, we'll talk about what we did. Still had those holes, so I figured, hey, I'll grab some those pipe cleaners because I got some extra hanging around. So I'll put them up through the hole, twist it around, put them up through the hole, twist it around, put them up through the hole, twist it around, so it's not hanging down. So at least we accomplished that. How long will it last? I don't know, which... Um, 
you know we get out af around here and we just do things sometimes um just to do them so if you don't know what af is just ask kids man and i'll tell you what af is because that's what we got going on we get out af yellow oil spill right here we'll need to take care of but we'll get that jack and um that stand out from under the car real quick and let her down and then we can uh kind of clean up a little bit um not really just maybe some hands probably swap hats out because we don't need this this is just an outdoor working hat you know we could put something a little more presentable on even though our hair is kind of jacked up today so we um we got the shit going on man see if we can get this thing to go down oh why is jack's actually fine oh yep drop her right down drop her down low and then uh we good get this thing out the way out the damn way and um we'll clean up the rest of our mess and we'll take it to town and clean her up and wash her down real quick and we'll take her through the nice expensive car wash you know, I get the chine on it and like I said, use those um, vacuums. I think I got some stuff over here, some blue corral or some shit. I can throw on the seats real fast, man. You know me, just do it to it. Do it to it, man. Get them clean.
look too bad, huh? Um, we'll get your eyes down there. We need to do something about that because we got all that. Look at that. It cleaned up nice. I'm going to pop these off real quick. I'm going to spray a little bit of that degreaser down there, and I'm going to douche that real fast. That's warm. That's probably from that old coolant. Because, I mean, this thing was running, but that's a lot more presentable than um, what it was. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that stuff just sitting right there. That's weird, huh? It's like broken up, and then we got the nice shiny colors on the concrete down here. So, well, and then I'll, um, I may even, like, uh, wash up the wheels, the rims real quick while I'm here before I go and do everything else. Talked to wife a little bit ago, told her don't even worry about coming home. I got shit to do. I'm doing it. So, it's what it is. What up? We going through the damn car wash. Just pl uh, purchased the unlimited, the most expensive car wash, a $25 one, unlimited for a month. For three months, you got to sign up. That's 75 bucks. I can get this thing washed as many times as I want to for uh, for $25 a month. I don't know why you would do that instead of doing once, paying once to come through here. I mean, as long as I got this car and for some reason, if Isabel gets the car, I can swap it out and give it to her. Or, and I can, I can, I can switch grandma's truck. Well, that one's dead. These things don't smell very long, but um, yeah, that's what's up. We're going through the damn car wash, man. Get this thing all cleaned up. I'll pull over to the side, get detailed. I got the um, I got some seat cleaner and I got some rain -X I can throw on the windows when I get done. It always rips these freaking mirrors off crooked pot. Whatever. And then they got nice little towels outside that you can you can wipe your stuff up with and stuff. So what it is to keep this car as clean as possible. And it's running so smooth since I changed the oil and stuff. I mean, it's just running boom, boom, boom. It's needed that, so that's what I'm talking about. I shouldn't have any more issues. Haven't had any since I did that with um, the old, uh, you know, since I added that transmission fluid, no issues whatsoever. Wife's gonna be happy. Uh, we'll be able to do whatever we want to with this car again, take it on trips, because I, I honestly don't see my kid getting her license anytime soon. I hope she does so I can give her the car, but I just don't see it happening, so it's what it is, man. You know, I'll be here waiting for when she does, though. Solid little car. I have to call that uh, dealership back up and say, guess what? I'm not bringing the car in because um, it's good. So, that's what's up. Man, what is going on? Guess you, you're not going to believe this crap, you know? I've been freaking walking in the damn woods looking for mushrooms and shit like that. And I heard that they grew around here in the yard. But I, I've always looked and I've never seen any. So I'm sitting out here and I'm cutting the damn grass. I'm on the mower and I'm cutting the grass. And I come along and I see one right, right around here, right by the stones. So I snap a picture, which I'll post up in here and I sent it to my wife because she ain't home so I'm boogieing along through here cutting my pass and shit and I'm looking and then I'm like oh my god look at that look at that shit right there look at that thing man get in on that and then I'm like wait is there some more uh, and then I see over here and I'm like what look at that shit look at that shit right there man and I'm like this is great it's in my freaking yard so then hold on, I'm not done. There's more. Uh, let's see, where is it at? I know there's one over there and I think that's it. And if that's four in the yard, oh, right there. Look at that shit. Look at that shit right there, man. Look at that, that's a big one, man. Look at that to my thumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's another one over here and I think that's it. So I'm talking five, maybe six, but I don't know. Look at that shit. Look at that shit right there, man. Get on that. Get up in there. Isn't that something? Isn't that something right in the yard? So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I'm, I'm mowing and I'm like, ooh, this is the first time I've ever seen any in the yard. And uh, I've heard they were around here, but that's the first time I'd ever seen any. And I used to take my slew and slurry and my water from the other stuff, and I would always get mushrooms. And I would dump them over here in this section because I figured this would be the area, you know what I mean? Because that pine tree right there, and or this pine tree, or they'd grow around in here, this region, or uh, 
you know, around in here or over in that region. I don't know, because just look how nice and soft this is. And there's all kinds of moss and stuff. I mean, just look. Boom. I can just stick my finger down. And there's a big-ass mole hole, because this place is full of moles. And it's just so soft and moles all over the damn place. But that's just insane. I really wish the wife was here. So she could have seen that. And I was just telling Brad, lives in the front apartment over here. I just told him the other day, like, yeah, Geraldine told me he found them around here. But uh, Geraldine must not have been looking this year because these look like they've been up for a few days. Maybe since like last weekend. I don't know. But um, I'm going to pick them and throw them in the house. And then uh, we're going to eat them whenever she gets home. But that's awesome. Do, do it online because that's the kind of guy i am because i didn't know i didn't even know where this stuff was at you know what i mean so i uh watched some dude down there online do that and i figured ah, that's what it is so i'll grab a towel real quick i mean it really don't matter i'm gonna pressure wash this shit anyways i just don't want a ton of stuff going all over the place when i'm uh doing it